Hello, 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 guys. Here is Dr. Wawile again talking about different topics on science. Remember, guys, that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hml.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Wawile which topics do we have? Research, community education, care delivery, hours, and achievement. The article to read you today is esteeming the effects of healthcare on climate change. This is a conversation with Anand Bhopal. Anand Bhopal is a PhD research fellow at the University of Virgin and the former Takemi Associate in International Health at the Harvard T. H. Chan School of Public Health. What do you say to healthcare professionals who feel overwhelmed by the problems of climate change? And start small. You know your area of practice and your patient population better than anyone. Look for your local specialty organization or regional group. Meet people incorporating environmental consideration into quality improvement. Look into reducing healthcare overuse where you are promoting disease prevention or checking policy guidelines for your specialty. What you do not make a huge difference on the grand scale on climate change, but a transformational shift requires a small steps a million times a day. Action inspires action. From Cambridge, Massachusetts at Harvard University, I want to remind to all you guys who are listening to me that we can search these beautiful articles from the official website from the magazine of Harvard Medical School, right? The article that we are doing reviewing today is steaming the effects of healthcare on climate change. This article has been designed like a conversation with someone, and this someone is Anand Popal. She is a researcher fellow, a PhD too, at Harvard Right, so this is gonna be the second question for her. You write about how climate change is shifting the people think about healthcare. What does that look like? We haven't been thought that patients care is the first concern, but that concern extends beyond the patient in front of you and trying to improve care access and quality while reducing our carbon footprint requires new definition of what quality means. Not so long ago. Economy costing was thought to be a vulgar conversation for medical professionals. Fast forward to 2023 and it's pretty normal to talk about cost and fairness. We can extend that thinking to climate impacts. It is fair to deliver extremely high teach and pollution healthcare knowing it's caused climate problems elsewhere. Alright guys, this is the third question for Anand Bhopal, she is a PhD researcher at Harvard. How much of a concern is a greenwashing making claims about reducing emissions that aren't matched by actions? She answers, greenwashing is preserved in climate policy. I think in healthcare though there is a sincere desire to do something and oil or gas companies saying they have no zero plans seen to odds with their values. But for healthcare we shouldn't be cynical, we should be supportive of people who are trying. Greenwashing isn't always intentional. You may invest your healthcare organization money in buying carbon offsets, but the long-term effectiveness that the approach is hotly disputed. Better to focus your energy on reducing emissions rather than paying to offset emissions elsewhere. But the risk of greenwashing shouldn't be a reason not to act. We don't have time for that. Alright guys, there you go, the third question for Anna Bopal, she's a PhD researcher at Harvard. This year in Lancet Planet Health, you publish a two-week model you develop on climate change for medical students. How important is education in the drive to reduce healthcare emissions? She answers, when I was a medical school from 2008 to 
2014, I remember going to my clinic with some colleagues and saying we want education on climate change and health. 15 years later, there are lots of people demanding this and there are excellent courses of many universities, including Harvard. The challenge is arranging the course in the right way. Some healthcare providers, educators and students are interested in the issues and want to do their bit. I want to leave those people up, those us who have privilege of making and taking time away from clinical practice to work in clinical arena should see our role as peer educators. Alright guys, this is the last question for Anna Bhopal, she is a PhD researcher at Harvard University. What's your ultimate hope? She answers, my wish is that climate change is not seen as something for enthusiastic but everybody problem. As I stay in a recent commentary, I co grow for journal as medical ethics. I believe it is an ethical imperative for healthcare to take climate change seriously. If we choose an art first and fast that benefits us because we are discarbonizing our own terms, we are talking about a major global challenges. There is no rule book. We will be dealing with climate change for those duration in our work careers. And we can do it well and we can do it badly. It's us to us and create the future. All right, guys, remember, this is a beautiful article and you can download it from the official website from the magazine of Harvard Medical School. The title is Steaming the Efforts of Healthcare on Climate Change and has been grown by Stephanie Touchen. She is a manager of feature content and multimedia in the HMS Office of Communication and External Relations. I hope you will enjoy all these audios. Remember, you can download from Dr. Gowile Podcast. It's a free content for everybody around the world. See you next time. Bye-bye.